So I'm uh, Robin Elliott, uh, the Community Development Coordinator for the Ontario SBC Midland and District Centre. Uh, it's also known as the Pepdalu Adoption Centre. Uh, and that's after uh, these three beautiful creatures here, Pepper Tilly and Louie, um, who were uh, the family members of um, a lovely woman who helped uh, to rebuild this uh, building. We have an amazing community here, um, as well as, as around all 12 of our animal centers. Um, donations of money, of course, keep the doors open and keep us able to, uh, to continue to help animals like Paulo and Renty here. The best thing to do is if you want to donate goods is to call your local animal center and ask them what they need because the need's going to be different throughout. Um, paper towels, we do tons of laundry, lots of dishes, so dish soap, laundry soap, uh, those are always in need. Um, but yeah, just reach out to your local center and ask what, what they need at, at the moment. Uh, most of us have an Amazon wish list as well, so you can go on and take a look at those. Um, third party events are a great way to support us. Uh, so a third party event would be say you're hosting a birthday party and instead of gifts you're taking in donations for our organization. Um, businesses will do that as well. Uh, that's a great way to help support us. Um, if you're not able to support either financially or through bringing in donated items, um, even just follow us, following us on social media, liking and sharing our posts, getting the message out uh, to, to your friends and to the rest of the community about um, the programs that we're running and how we're helping animals in need. Uh, cat room two, if we've got cats that aren't necessarily great with other cats, um, or we're still doing an assessment with them, uh, we'll leave them in here. Uh, the kennels are fantastic. Each cat will get three separate spaces, one for sleeping, one for eating, uh, and one for elimination. Um, so they can keep themselves nice and clean and there's little portholes that run in between them. Uh, so these are fantastic cages. But one thing that Callie gets, as well as cat room one, and I'll open this for a bit because it's a little too much to still. Uh, but we do have two patios. Uh, so these are outdoor play spaces for our cats. They're fully enclosed, uh, but it does give the cats an opportunity to come outside. Um, they can watch the birds, they can pretend to hunt and, and be little kitties, and we've got some um, enrichment activities that they can uh, play out here as well. And it's just a nice spot for them to be able to get outside and get some fresh air. love our volunteers. We have the best volunteers ever. Um, the process is really simple. You just go to ontariospca.ca slash volunteer um, and you can sign the application right there. It'll go into our volunteer coordinator and they'll get back to you with a, a short interview and, uh, and just some forms to fill out. And there's lots of jobs you can do. You don't necessarily have to be, you know, super active and um, you know, in walking dogs or, or things like that. You can do cat enrichment, which is literally just doing what I'm trying to do right now, um, and playing with our, our cat friends, um, help with office work, help with general cleaning. Um, there's always stuff to be done around here. Uh, follow up calls with adopters or donors. Um, so there's lots of jobs and we could always use the help and we very much appreciate our volunteers. So. This is our intake and treatment room. So when animals first come into care with us, um, this is where they would come in to be assessed. So we would weigh them, we would put them on scales, um, and do a general overall assessment of them before they move into one of the intake rooms. So there are situations, um, you know, that do arise where people need to rehome their pets. Uh, it can be due to an illness or a death in the family, a change in circumstances, which means that you can no longer keep them. Um, reach out to us, um, let us know what's going on, um, and we can, you know, depending on our capacity, it may not be immediate, but uh, we can arrange to surrender your animal to our care. Um, and we'll make sure that it's uh, it's well taken care of. All of the animals, when they come into our care, they're they're given a full vetting um, to make sure that they're healthy. Uh, we get to know them a little bit. Uh, if you are rehoming, uh, we get a rehoming profile from you. It just tells us you know what their personality is like um, and who they are when they're at home, uh, so that we can make sure that when we are rehoming them, we can put them with the right type of family. Um, we have our science-based meet your match survey. Uh, which helps us to determine what type of household you've got so we can make sure that we're making those smart matches. 
but rehoming is, it's difficult for everybody, uh, but there are times when it's necessary and it's, you know, sometimes the best thing to do for your furry friends. So um, never feel ashamed. Um, I know that, that some people might feel that it's not great, but um, you know, you should never feel ashamed or, or that you're not doing something right because you're doing the best thing for your animal. So um, always just reach out to your local center and we're happy to help. So the grounds that we have uh, for the animals to play in, these are the outside runs for the dogs, so they do have their own access to an outside, outside space. Uh, but when we do the dogs, as you can see, we've got a huge problem here. Uh, and we're able to take them uh, for nice long walks. Our volunteers love it. Uh, we can go all over the property. Uh, and we also have access to uh, an off-leash park for two hours a day from 9 till 11. So we can lock that off and it's uh, strictly for our use between those hours. And then it's open to the public. I believe it's five acres and it's a fantastic space. So we're very blessed to have uh, lots of room and an incredible facility. Good girl.